Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you are not doing well, I am happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. So this video is about what I hate about being an empath. And hate is such a strong word. I don't use it often because it's like, you know, it's such a powerful word. So maybe hate might be a bit too extreme, but when I'm in those moments, yes, I hate it. So what I hate about being an empath is the fact that we feel other people's emotions so deeply as if it is our own. It is like an invasion to the body. It will hit you out of nowhere when you least expect it. Because basically, when a person is um, thinking about you and feeling whatever they're feeling, especially if it's not good feelings, you know, you're going to feel it whenever they're having it. If you're awake, you're going to feel it. And depending on how much of a projector this person is, how intense they feel feelings, you will feel it so deeply as if it is you going through it. And if you don't know yourself, it can be so confusing because you will, it's like you're caught off guard. It's like, damn, why do I feel this way? Where those of us who don't know we're empaths will just get hit with different emotions and it's like, we'll, and, and we'll probably think like something is wrong with you emotionally, the way you're emotionally all over the place when in all reality, like you are just picking up on the emotions of other people. So it's like, yeah, I hate the fact that it's like someone can send me a message without my permission. It's like with the cell phone, I can turn on the do not disturb. I can make it silent. But when someone is telepathically sending a message because they are there thinking about you and feeling whatever it is they're feeling and the good stuff feels good unless you're feeling too good of stuff from people you don't want to feel that from and then that could feel creepy also and also can feel like an invasion depending on how sensitive you are and how much you can actually feel you know, when it comes to other people sending you signals and messages. But like, yeah, when someone is in their feelings, they're sad, they're depressed or whatever, and they're thinking is like, you feel all of that so deeply. And it's like, say for example, you're with someone and the relationship isn't in a good place. And when they're not around you, you can literally feel them mourning your presence. It's like all of a sudden you'll feel like you're in this mourning position and don't know why you feel like you're mourning them because maybe in your mind you're you're so happy that you know I, I enjoy this person but I'm so happy that we have space apart. So it's like all of a sudden you're feeling these feelings and it's like why am I feeling these feelings because even though I appreciate them I'm happy that you know we're having some time apart you know where i'm i'm happy that we're we're having you know experiencing life doing our own thing because eventually we will get back together again so the emotions will hit you and it's like where the hell did that come from but even though i hate that and it's annoying what it has helped me to do is take accountability for my interactions with others in the sense that I do not, it's like I am very cautious, a lot more cautious now when it comes to communication with people and this, because like I'm someone who likes to just like tell someone exactly how I feel and being an empath has taught me that people will say they want the truth but they don't always want the truth and they'll stand there and you'll tell them the truth that they're asking for 
and then they will go inside and hate you for it and I will feel every single bit of it. So I've learned to choose my words wisely and basically be way more diplomatic in my speech whenever I'm expressing myself to others because depending on how I express myself to others, I will have to suffer the consequences of it. So even though I hate that, it has helped me to be a better communicator and it has taught me the importance of like human connection. It's like we're all connected. We're all swimming in we're all sitting in the same swimming pool. So when someone pees in the pool, you will feel the warmth from them peeing in the pool. It is just that, you know, a lot of people are disconnected from the fact that we're all swimming or sitting in the same swimming pool to where they don't know that we're connected. But being an empath shows you that we're all connected. And also being an empath causes you to see the world so much differently because of that whole connection thing. You know, in the beginning, when you find out you're an empath and don't even realize what in the beginning, when you find out you're an empath, it's so freeing because you realize that, okay, there's more like me. I'm not crazy. Like, you know, it's actually a thing. You know, it's actually more normal than we think. And because of the way we are conditioned to eat and the stimulation from the information and the food and us, you know, being taught to not think for ourselves and to be disconnected from our emotions and, you know, problem solvings and, and things like that. It's like we're disconnected from that side of ourselves. We think we are separate separate when in all reality we are the the separate raindrop as one in the ocean flowing together so it has taught me that so even though yes i hate feeling other people's stuff so deeply especially when i don't want to care and i just want to do me you know basically it helps me to be more like considerate and empathetic even though we're empaths we're already empathetic but even more empathetic the next thing i hate about being an empath is that i'm always forced to be the bigger person i'm always forced even though it shouldn't be something that you hate but it's like exhausting always being the parent sometimes parenting your parents or those who are authority and some ways we'll do this is that basically we know exactly what they need. We know what they're thinking. We know what they're feeling. So because of that, we will strategically communicate in ways or do things in ways to keep the peace, you know, to keep the energy positive. Even sometimes that might mean betraying ourselves to a certain extent, you know, so that's what's frustrating or also being able to feel deeply. It's like, I always ask myself, like, how am I contributing to this? You know, how am I ma manifesting what's happening in front of me? Like, yes, this person is a real jerk, but obviously they're reflecting something within me because the whole connection to everything forces you to see things differently. You know, it forces you to see things in a way that empowers you because it's like, yes, you know, I might not be able to yet control, you know, receiving signals and messages from others. And I've tried everything that I've seen out there. And to me, the best thing for me that I've ex that I find that works is just knowing what belongs to me and what doesn't knowing when I'm receiving a signal opposed to if I am having an emotional response from something around me. And again, like being disciplined when it comes to diet and diet when it comes to the information we're consuming, you know, not being stimulated unnecessarily from news and information that keeps us constantly in fear or eating foods that keeps us stimulated. So if we are always in a balanced, you know, a, ba a balanced emotional state and we are emo aware of what we're thinking and feeling because we're constantly in a meditative state then we know what belongs to us and what doesn't. And often just knowing that it's not me, knowing that it's not you will help you to put distance between yourself and the emotions that you're feeling. But when you first feel it, it feels so real. Like it is you, it is your emotions. You feel that way about this thing or this person. And then eventually you'll realize, oh no, like that's them. And that creates distance because you're like no that's them and it gets less intense it's like for example you break up with someone or they broke up with you 
and all of a sudden you feel this urge to call them. You feel this overwhelming urge to call them. And then when you do call them, you're on the phone with them. And it's like, why did I even call you in the first place? Because they summoned you. They sent out a, a, a telepathic telegram just by them sitting there mourning your loss or wishing you would call or wishing they would build up the courage to call you sends the signal all you're hearing is call 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 so you call thinking you want to call when in all reality like that wasn't you that was them so yeah i hate that about being an empath because it's almost like sometimes you it's like you feel like a puppet like you're a puppet and other people are stringing you along before you even know what you act that you're actually an empath like i remember one situation where capricorns are really good at like you know being puppeteers if whether they're aware of it or not and to me that tells me that they have really strong manifesting capabilities because I remember once I was hanging out with a friend and I was in the kitchen with my friend's friend. Uh, basically, I was in the kitchen with another person that was connected to my friend. And I was like sitting on a couch way over on one side of the room. And I like my own space. Like I like space because it allows me to recharge as an introvert. And all of a sudden I felt myself just feeling the need to get up and move to a seat that was closer to the person that was in the kitchen. And we started having a conversation, but it's like, I kept questioning myself. Why did I move myself when I was so much more comfortable on the couch way over there opposed to sitting at the stool at the table? And it, it, it eventually hit me. And at that time, I wasn't that clear on the fact that, you know, people can hypnotize us. And I'll make a video on that if that's something that you guys want to hear about. We are hypnotized daily, often, especially if we are unaware of it. And basically, I said to the person, I said, I, I said, you wanted me to sit here so bad, didn't you? And the person was actually honest and said, yeah, like I, you are sitting so far away. I wanted you closer. And I said, yeah, because I felt myself get up and come over here and sit closer to you when I have no true desire to be close to you. And the person laughed. And of course, my friends, friends, they're all spiritual and into metaphysics and things like that. So I didn't sound weird. They got it and was honest about it. But that was such a redefining moment because I realized that I've had so many other situations where I am hypnotized to do things and think I'm doing something because I want to. When in all reality, that person's magnetic pull feels so strong to the point that it feels like it is my own desire when it is absolutely not. So yeah, that is exhausting about being an empath. And the difference is like, I feel like as people, like we are all sensitive to that because we are hypnotized daily in the media and through information and foods and other things like that. The difference is some of us be, grow to become aware of it and we take control and wield our power and use it in ways that benefit us and humanity opposed to unknowingly like zombies allowing sources outside of us to call the shots and manipulate us and make us manifest against our own will. So yeah, you guys, those are some, or that was my quick rant about what I hate about being an empath. I was sitting in the car earlier at the grocery store and I just thought about it because I felt some emotions that I really didn't want to feel, that I really didn't care to feel because I just wanted to do my own thing. And I'm like, oh, even though I love, love, love being an empath, sometimes it's so annoying, like the responsibility that it comes with. You know, the things that I hate about being an empath, like I hate and love those things at the same time because it makes us powerful. It's a superpower. You know, I've used those same things to help me when it comes to business or even deal with people, you know, because you'll meet someone and they'll smile with you and you meet them and then they'll walk away and be thinking the worst about you. And as an empath, it's like I'm sitting in their body with them, feeling exactly how they feel about me. So when they show up again, pretending that they're with me, it's like I already know what time it is. The difference between me now is I've matured enough to 
keep stuff to myself. I don't have to always call people out anymore. So that's the beautiful thing about maturing. But yeah, all the things that I hate about being an empath, I also love those things at the same time because they make me feel like one of the X-Men. They make me feel, you know, superhuman, which we all have these abilities within us. But of course, you know, based on the distraction and the stimulation, we've grown to detach ourselves from it. That's why we get so much shit about feeling where people want to dismiss our feelings and say they don't matter because it is through our feelings we tap into our intuition and it is from our inner world and the messages that we get inside ourselves that we are able to cipher through things. So like, yeah, it has helped me so much. So it's like, it's uh, it's annoying and frustrating, but at the same time, I'm super grateful for the things that I hate about being an empath because it makes me who I am. And I strongly know that the future that we are walking into, that is what we will need to survive, to see who we're dealing with, to know how to make decisions when it comes to people because people are so robotic in the sense that they will smile and put on such a good show and make you think whatever they want you to think. But when you can feel what's actually happening, energy doesn't lie. If you are still here with me, I would love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a yellow heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.